travelers, we have made our way into Disney's Animal Kingdom because Michelle and I are heading right over here. You can see the little sign right behind the Lion King sign. We're going to Tusker House today, a place we have never been, never even stepped in, never even stepped a foot into it because they have character dining and we are going to check it out. So come along and let's see what Tusker House has to offer us today. So travelers, as you're coming over the bridge and you hit the Harambe Market area right here, you'll see the street performers right out here. Right straight is the Safari Savannah Trek. And right over here is the Tusker House and the Daiwa Bar. So if you're looking for the Daiwa Bar, Tusker House, you have to go underneath to check in for your table. Plus, as you can see, there's the Lion King sign which is right down this pathway right here. So this is the lay of the land. If you're wanting quick service foods, the easiest way is if you come to Tusker House right here. Just look over here. Right over here, there's Tamu Tamu, which can get you drinks and stuff. But behind this building, behind this building is all the street foods and everything. But there's some quick service here and then behind the building is more quick service. But it does get crowded in this little area because there is a lot of ways to go. This will take you to Asia this way. Like I said, the performers come out so it gets a little crowded. These are the crowds today and this is a Friday. We are here on a Friday. So, Safari, safari and that's where we are going today, Tusker House. So Tusker House serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner and it is a character dining. Look there, my favorite character. It is character dining, but it is still social distancing character dining. So they don't come to your table, but they come near your table so you can get your photos. So this right over here is the Dawa Bar, and right to the left of the Dawa Bar is the check-in for Tusker House. We're waiting for our reservation. We got a lunch reservation for one o'clock today, but we're sitting right behind the podium and we're observing people coming up. Just remember, make a reservation if you can, because right now they're looking at a 90 minute walk up. And since this is beside the Dawa Bar, they have tables, but people will bench out and wait at these tables. So just remember that, but just bring your patience. Bench out? Yeah, they, you know, they take like uh, all this. Out, but just yeah, bench, bench out, bench yeah, they bench out, not veg like out, so down. yeah. Benching. But we only got, we got 20 more minutes because they did tell us at the podium, they're only doing 20 minute check-ins. So 20 minutes before your reservation, you can check in. The young lady at the podium did tell us, which we thought this was back to a buffet, but it is not back to a buffet yet. It is still family dining, which we really family do in style, family I style. Love I love family I love style. That. But when it goes back to the buffet, which the way she everything is going, it'll probably be good. a couple the months. Was good because you got um, a larger variety of food up on the buffet. Right, exactly. So now she said some of the favorites aren't back. I guess she was telling us about a cinnamon roll bread pudding. Pudding, yeah. Um, but she said it's not back yet. And you know us some bread pudding. Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Wonderful. First time dining with us? Yes, it is our first time. First time in this building. So we are excited. So like we have said, this is a family style and this is the desserts ready to come out to the table. As you can tell, there's the dessert platter right there and then more of the bread and the salads all right in here. But this will go back to buffet eventually. They're just not sure when. Nikki has arrived at our table. Remember, it's still social distancing. So, this is how they have much to do it. Get them six feet, and they will close behind you. So, that is a perfect way to take your pictures with the characters. Travelers. 
travelers, we have made our way into Tusker House and we are so excited. Like I said, me and Michelle have been coming here since the crack of dawn. <laughs> We're not here. Or, here. No, you're here. But we've like, never come to this here. restaurant. We, no. Yeah. We pass it. Pass it. We've seen the door of it, but we've I've seen never. Pictures. <laughs> yeah, I've seen pictures out there, but we've never come here. So we're very excited. The menu sounds great. We did start off. Michelle got her coat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Michelle started with the Coke, and I got Pog Juice. They do have Pog Juice here at Tusker House. So 55 for adults, 36 for children. So that's nice so to that know. So that puts it in the character dining, yeah. dining price. Yeah. So, because so far, Chef Mickey seems to be the less, right? No, it price was 55 price? for dinner, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It seems like all the character dinings are 55, okay. except at Ravello. Oh, which we is had over in four seasons. That's why it was last. I was yeah. Like, wait, okay. Yeah. So lunch and dinners are the same yes. pretty much now. Pretty everywhere. much the same everywhere. Um, Chef Mickey's doesn't do a lunch. They just do a breakfast all the way through to one o'clock, and then they go into dinner service at four o'clock. Okay. Uh, Storybook this is, is nice only though, at have... what? Sorry. No, go ahead. No, Storybook is only at night. They do not do a lunch or a breakfast. Okay. So that is the difference between those. Here we go. I'm so excited. Pog juice. <laughs> they got pog juice. I love pog juice. Yeah, they're paper. And yeah, I forgot ours. There it is, right there. Look, and look how big that is. So there are three rooms here. There's like a main dining room mm -hmm. where the buffet looks like it used yeah. to be. Or it's, right. You said it should be back in the next couple months, so we'll see. And then like a smaller dining room where we are. Right. Nice and quiet. So and then like there's a, a dining room, room on the other side that's probably about four times the size, and it is loud over there. So we're on the, have you entered? We're on the left-hand side. So that's easy way. The salads and breads have arrived. And this is the bread service right here. They do bring you rolls, and this is a flatbread made out of something that I can't remember. Hopefully Michelle inserts the names of it. Go with the chutneys. This is a mango chutney right there. That is the tomato hummus, and that's the cilantro coriander right there for the dipping for our bread. But they do bring soft rolls, which I greatly appreciate that. And I cannot wait for this um, flatbread right here. An Arcadian green salad with citrus vinaigrette dressing. Awesome. So this is the salad right here. Cannot wait. And like I said, it's all family style, so it is all you care to dine on right here. So we, this really looks good and smells great too. Give me a salad. And this is the citrus vinaigrette. You're not gonna get the, the chutney tomato stuff? I think that's where your dressing no, is. No, that's where the onions are. There's onions. Well you can go around, look at that bite. It doesn't look good. Okay, you can see. Uh, uh, there's dressing on here. We're good. Here we go. I'll try the salad. Cheers. Cheers, honey. Mmm. Mmm, little tarts. So now I got another bite of salad. I do like the vinaigrette. It does have a mustard in it, they said. So it gives that little tartness. It's very it. like Very tart. Vinegar. Yeah. Very tart. Not, not like a standard. It's like a, citrusy. That's the Kutra Mom. The tomatoes and onions. It's nice and fresh. Okay. Looks good. It's good. You want to try a tomato? No, actually, no. I'm going to get some of it. Okay. In order to get me to eat lettuce, you got to sauce it up. Yeah. But I'm still not going to eat onions. Right. <laughs> I'm going to try some of the hummus. Right there. Oh, you're going with the cracker. Get you some hummus? Yeah. We're going with the hummus first. I got the roll. She got the cracker. That's a song. I love tomato hummus. These are really good. They're very light. Yeah. They're good. It's good on the roll. Try a cracker. Michelle says to try a cracker. They have a taste to them. Like... It's a sun-dried tomato. No, the cracker itself oh. has a taste. Because she said they're made with chickpeas. It's almost like a Lay's potato chip. Yeah. 
those are good. I'd rather have more of those than the rolls. It tastes like a, no, yeah, it yeah. tastes like a Lay's potato chip. Try some of that like chutney. These. That's a mango I'm chutney. I'm just gonna dip it. I didn't want to break my cracker. There we go. Mm. It's got a little coriander in it. That's really good. A chutney? Yeah. There's something in there. Does it got a little heat? It's sweet. It is sweet from the mango. Oh, that's good. It's not smoky. What, how would you describe that? There's a flavor in there. I, I could have sworn it was coriander. I don't know. Yeah. I have to ask her again. Yeah. I like that. Nice and sweet. The green okay, I'm not trying oh, to drink, so I know what it tastes like. The bread would be great with butter. I'm not going to. But the cracker thingies. Yeah, are, I don't, whatever these are. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Whatever these are. Right I don't, there. I'm not a pesto mm. kind of person. It's different, though. It's good. Yeah, yeah. You should try it. Okay. Just so you know what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like soap, though. Don't you say it tastes like soap? I can't get over how much these taste like lace potato chips. I don't know. It's like I'm eating ground up grass. That's all I can think of. It's going like it. Yeah. No. I will have to say, this character attendant right here has been phenomenal. She places the family perfectly so they can get their photos with the characters. She does a great job. There's the man right there, Donald, there he is. All right, Donald, you go. That's why he's my favorite. Oh, you working, Donald. <laughs> great. <laughs> what a great, thank you so much, thank you. So the food has come as Donald was here, and we're gonna start with the main course right here. I want you to look at this platter. It's got chicken and beef, and they put the coriander on top of the beef, but that's okay, I can work around that. But that looks fantastic. There's some vegetables down there, some rice. Oh, I cannot wait to give this a try. And then we have macaroni and cheese for the table, which everybody says this is really good. All the servants said it was good. And then a shrimp curried rice as a side. Right there, so. We cannot wait to give this a try. And like we said, it is family style. Are you care to dine on? So, can't wait to give it a try. Weapons have been assembled. And you have your own set this time. Yes. Me and Michelle made a plate so we can see. What are we trying first? The shrimp curried rice. I knew you were gonna say that. Here we go, shrimp curried rice. Got a nice shrimp taste, but it's mild, it's not too fishy. Nah, I'm not a... It tastes like the salad except on rice. That's too tangy for me. We'll, we'll push that to the side. Okay, it's let's really, try the mac and cheese. Really strong, forward. Yeah. Vinegar, sweet vinegar. Yeah. So we're gonna try the mac and cheese, which all the servers say is really good, and they make it with a kappa toppy pasta. So, there we go. Oh my god. That's good. Oh my gosh, that's good and so creamy. And I'm not a big mac and cheese, but no. this is good. It's nice and creamy. It's like a bechamel blend. Oh. It's really good. Very cheesy. Yeah, very cheesy. That does, a mac and cheese lovers mac and cheese. Yeah, it's really good. Very nice. I like it. Very nice. I have to have another bite of that one. Okay. Get you another bite. All right, which one? Pork tenderloin. We are going with the pork tenderloin next. <laughs> and honestly, it just looks like you, you know, pork tenderloin. We'll see how it tastes. It looks nice and moist. Yeah, it does. Here we go. That's good. That is really good. It's got a little sweet edge around it, so whatever it's been marinated or basted in, 
it's got a really great flavor. Oh, it does. Okay, I've, I've chosen all the. You choose next. What do yeah, you want to try? Yeah, that's good. It's nice and like bacony. Pork belly ish for you. Yeah, it, it is. It's really good. Okay, so so far the seafood. We we'll get the chicken. Chicken. We're going chicken. Just a roasted chicken. Yeah. It's so hard to do chicken well for a lot of people because it always gets so dry. But this one's awful moist. There. We have the same piece. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Yeah. That's got a great bite to it, and I know that sounds. It's not a mushy chicken. Hasn't been over marinated. Great flavor. Nice and moist. Okay. It's chicken. Yeah, like it's, yeah it's nothing. It's, it's chicken. just chicken. I like the pork better so far. Okay. Oh, you going potato on me. She going potato. I love any kind of vegetable blend like that. With the carrots and the potatoes and the green beans. I love vegetables like that. Is it a medley? Vegetable medley is what it, I believe it's called. That Donald's Mail. <laughs> Whoa! That is awesome. Just, well, you can go to the next room. We are ready for the beef, and Michelle got the chimichurri sauce on hers. I get, I went plain. Here we go. Chewy. It's okay. By far my favorite. And I know Michelle's still chewing, so I can't say anything. She can't say anything yet. <laughs> By far my favorite support. I'll order more pork. I will definitely get some more vegetables. The chicken isn't bad, but definitely the pork. The pork is the winner of all these meats. Oh, and the macaroni and cheese. That was good. Great, great, great character interaction. We have learned, and we've kind of been talking about it, that this green sauce right here is the sauce of choice right now for anything beef when you go to a buffet. Sebastian's had it. Um, I asked Todd, I said, okay, given what we've said about the meal, what would you do to improve it? And so was, we were talking about, this almost looks like a Cape May type. Exactly. Place. They're starting like, to blend together. Yeah, there's nothing really here that I would think, okay, Tusker House. Right. Because this actually kind of looks like um, trails in, you know. But what, you know, what did you expect? Oh, I, I, it, you come here I mean, for I the characters. I was thinking, what would I expect? I didn't. I did. See, I knew it was a character meal. Well, so. I knew that, but I didn't come here for that. Right. But that's what you're saying, that people will forgive the food because it's the characters. Character, the interaction. So the food is just a I think so. I think so. That's what they're coming for, is the characters. And to get a nice meal. It's not a you know signature dining. You gotta remember that. But I will tell you that. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. Like okay, like the dish can be simple but good. Right. You know, this seems to be they've tried to make it a little bit more complex, but the items that make up the dish aren't the best. They do like, use different spices than other like the coriander and the but Tamar, this is stuff African? Like yes. African? Yeah. So I was expecting more of like a boma type yeah, meal. Yeah, I'll give you that. Well, like, maybe that's the buffet type. Like instead of a rotisserie chicken, like a tandoori. Yeah. Something a little bit more... Elevated. I, and I, right. But I think that's what their buffet is. And we've never had their buffet, so we will come back and try the buffet. And that's what some of the cedars and greeters told us. You know, the buffet had a lot more options. So, compare it to Boma, 
maybe that's the best way is once we get a buffet back. So, okay, that well, makes I would sense. like the beef, but I don't necessarily like the chimichurri. No. That's what I said. think is why I like the pork. The, the pork tastes more to me right. like a normal meat. Yeah, I agree. This isn't a Lay's potato chip. No. It's a Pringle base. Yeah, it's she's like absolutely Pringle. right. But it's really good with that hummus. Okay, so I've discovered a little trick. So I'm gonna show Todd because he hasn't tried it yet. I've not tried this yet. Okay, get a little piece. Okay, by the way, we ordered more of the, <laughs> what's it called? Papadon. Papadon. Okay, a little piece. Yep. Little piece. Little piece. And then get a little piece of pork. You may have to cut a piece. Oh, I got a little piece right there. Beautiful. Okay. She tells me to try it this way. We're gonna see. That's good. There's something about the flavors oh. that I don't know what it is. Michelle said it earlier, and I'm gonna give her all credit for this one. She says this Papa Don is popping because this is good. It's really good with the pork. She started eating it that way. Oh, that's good. We learned it's made with chickpeas. Lentils. Lentils, lentils. We have wound down our meal. Put dessert cream. And I am so excited. This is a vanilla cupcake with vanilla buttercream. And I'll give you the little ears. Those are cute. This is a chocolate cake with green tea and a uh, macaroon. Oh, and this is the hard one. This is a flourless, flourless layered bee cake. <laughs> honey, honey cake. Because they serve this because elephants are afraid of the flapping wings of the bee because they can hear it. So it helps keep the rogue elephants away. So that's why they serve this cake here at Tusker House. I would have never known that. So. These are the three desserts, and we cannot wait to give them a try. We're getting ready to have our desserts, but our server came by, and since they're not allowed to do autographs anymore, you do get this beautiful little card here with all the characters. Oh, I, know. I grabbed yours. Always take everything. I know, away. sorry. And it's got the little autographs right there. <laughs> Usually, I always just dig right into the desserts, but I'm going to let Michelle. Which one would you like to try first? The vanilla cupcake. Are you sure you want to try the vanilla cupcake first? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna prep our cupcake. Because it's just vanilla cupcake. With buttercream icing. Do the other flavors, it's gonna like true, true. That's the same taste, right? This is why this is why she's my research team. And my best friend. Uh -huh. This made me feel bad for yelling at you. <laughs> you don't yell at me. I like the little decoration on the ear. Here we go. It smells of orange. It's orange? No, she said vanilla cream and vanilla cupcake. Okay. Maybe it's because it is orange and it smells of orange. Here we go. Mm. It's not a dry cupcake. It's a very go together. As you can tell, okay, we can't take Michelle's. She's not a sweet person. She, well, yeah, you do. You like sweets. This isn't your favorite cupcake? Okay. That's fair. That's fair. So now, which is the next? The bee. The bee. Do you see the little honeycomb thing on the top? Yes, I do. That's cute. This is a flourless chocolate cake. Honey chicken. Here we go. It's not. It's like jello and a cake yeah. made a baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly right. What was Jello and chocolate doing in the um, It's yellow, so I want it to be lemon, and it's not. Right, but it is honey. It's honey. 
but it's flourless, so that's what gives it that texture. Michelle has a texture problem with the bee, flourless bee. I really do enjoy it. And like I said, Michelle is very observant in a lot of things. And remember I said, I like the design of the year to look like a giraffe. The cupcake wrapper actually has the design, which I didn't even notice, but she did. So now let's try the chocolate cake. So this one doesn't really fit in then. Because if that's an animal giraffe, that's an animal bee, that is a a log, what is that? It's 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 a chocolate green tea something. What, what is, is this that again? One? It's a caramel tree of life brown. Oh, okay, tree of life. It has life. espresso and green tea and the meringue. And awesome. the Mickey, um, the, the 50th. The 50th. Awesome. Yes. Sometimes we put the 50th and sometimes we put the tree of life. Okay. It's in blue lit up at night. Okay. Depends on what we get in. Gotcha. Awesome. Thank you so much. So there we go. That caramel. That's even better. Fudge something. They should not call that any type of cake. That is nothing but chocolate fudge. It's like a brownie. I know. Oh my gosh, that is dense, dense, and even more dense. <laughs> Michelle is trying to get I was not expecting that kind of denseness. The vanilla cupcake is almost like a cleansing, a palate cleanser now. Yeah. I don't think I'm a fan of any of them. I can't say that. I'm going to say that um, honey cake, the flourless honey cake, which I will be getting another piece of. We hope you enjoyed our travels to Tusker House. It was a very nice character breakfast, our uh, character meal, not breakfast. We got one more character meal to go and then we'll rank them. What we would think would be our best. But I did What's get it. Um, Ravello at the Four Seasons. Uh, they have one there. So, I've heard so many good things about that one too. Well, we'll see. We'll go there sooner or later. But there's the honey cake, which I got another piece of, which Michelle said I couldn't get another piece. <laughs> it's I got another piece. You should. <laughs> so, travelers, thank you so much once again for traveling along with us. We don't know where we're going to next, but we are so glad that you guys have traveled along with us. Michelle is getting the B. And like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there. Here we go. Ready?